Hello, my name is Michael Garrick, and this is uh, Popping Culture Anime Reviews, uh, Yasuke. This is the spoiler review, so if you have not seen it, um, and you can't, don't watch it, just watch this. Uh, but if you do want to watch it, uh, if you do want to uh, waste a Saturday and watch Yasuke, feel free to, but um, we have a it's non-spoiler episode. Yeah, it's three, only six episodes. Hours. Yeah, yeah, three hours. Waste three hours of your life. That's fine. Uh, if you don't want to watch the spoiler review, we do have a non-spoiler review that you can watch. Um, all right, every uh, my guest is comedian Michael Mack. Definitely check him out. Very funny comedian. Uh, he has a show coming up at the Golden Den in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, if Michael Mack's in your city, definitely check him out. Very funny guy. All right, guys. Everything past Appreciate this it. point. Oh, no problem. Truth is the truth, man. Um, all right, guys, everything past this point is 100% spoilers. All right, man, let's 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 spoil this show with no story. Yeah, I was about to say, like, what are you really spoil? <laughs> the, the, most, the most we can do is spoil, like, the mom dies somehow. Before we get to that, um, guys, if you say there's no story, there is no... This is... It goes from, like... Um, it, it really it really is no story you've seen this you've seen these tropes over and over again but now you're seeing a story that it just okay you have Yasuke the first black samurai which is a real person which was a real person um and now this anime superhero with the same name um has to protect this girl that can protect herself Am I wrong? It's a girl that can protect herself, but he needs to protect her for yeah, no reason. Because and then like, but she the way she's able to learn to protect it. Let me let me take that back. The way she just starts protecting herself is the problem. Like it's like, oh man, I made these huge wavelengths of blasts that blow everybody away. I can't control it. I'm in the middle of the forest crying about my mom, and then like next episode there's the girl all right cool all right fuck all that shit i gotta bounce <laughs> so let me start using these powers ne- and literally next episode guys this, we're not main, right. we're not we're not like being funny like next episode like <sighs> the great war um oh yeah yeah tell, tell them what happens with the girl like let them know i mean I barely even remember, and I just watched it Sunday. Like, <laughs> I really wanted to just forget this anime. It, it was because in the story itself seems really interesting. Like, the first part does seem interesting. Like the six, like I said, if the first six episodes would have been dedicated to that first part, where you would have got more background information, you would have seen her practice the, her powers and stuff like that. Maybe one episode she practiced it at least one episode she practiced something then you know what i'm saying yasuke just gets like astounded by what he's seeing you know what i'm saying like i think this would have been a a a whole lot better but since it was really just like she blasted everybody away uh the low-key kkk member trying to catch her and for for god (laughs) uh the menacing five just wanting to to get money (laughs) yeah yes exactly to get money yeah (laughs) get money fuck kids like fuck these kids i want money (laughs) i I had to restate that one i was about to sound bad but yeah uh (laughs) that's not gonna that's not gonna age well at all (laughs) fuck these kids get money uh that still sounds bad whatever either way uh child abuse to get money (laughs) Pop and culture does not uh, agree with what <laughs> <laughs> with what Michael Mack just said. Pop and culture does not know what they. I don't agree with what they put to make me say that. So they was just there, like, yeah, who cares about who cares about this kid? Let's just get this money. Oh, we respect this black dude, but that's only because we trash, and he actually doing pretty well against us. We got these magical powers. He's just nigga. <laughs> and he's surviving against us. <laughs> I give it up to this anime for for not using the N word. 
Like, cause it, it, you gotta think about it. Like in Japan, it wouldn't would have been there though. That's what I'm saying. In Japan, would it be there? Because I don't, I don't think it would be. But then I don't want to say they didn't either. But I give it props for not. If this was English, like an English anime, like if this was set in like South Carolina and somehow it was anime, it. But yeah, you're right. It would have made sense in that in that way. Okay, I get what you're saying. I get, I get my own. I'm messing up my own statement by saying that. But yeah, I do like the fact that they like did leave it out. You know, because they could have easily just thrown it in and it wouldn't have made sense. They were throwing everything else in there. Might as well, because they was already throwing in discrimination. They could have just thrown in oh. like, the most racist word. Just like, wait, what? Why is this? Why is this nigger skin still black? <laughs> oh yeah, they were. Oh yeah, they were throwing in some low key. They were. They was like, we got, we got, we need something in here. We can't just sidestep it. Let's not be too racial, but let's uh, let's make sure we. No, they ain't, they ain't hug with this black man. Mm. Especially the, the one about him going into town. No, nah, my favorite one was actually when um when they went to uh and, and that's why I said like they had the historical parts correct. So well, I mean, aside from the whole thing, but Nobunaga like trying to just bring everybody in. He like the actual shogun Nobunaga did try to unify Japan. Okay. Um so that, that's an actual thing. I don't know if he was trying to put in all the different cultural aspects. Like, oh yeah, let's let women be samurai. Let's let's let gay people be a thing. Uh, is that a black man? Bring him in. Like, I don't know if I don't know if that was fully there, but I do know that he was actually trying to control all of Japan, and, and not in an evil way. He did some fucked up tactics, but you know, it was more just like he did want to unify it under one banner. And they had like the the clan that he fought against the uh, the Iga, yeah. That's an actual ninja clan in Japanese hin- history. Oh wow! And they did, yeah, they did rebel against Nobunaga. So that's a so like like I said, they had the historical parts correct. It's just they decided to throw all this other stuff in there. Oh, okay. So they all right. And see how interesting that sounded? Wouldn't that have made a way better story just to go talk about that? And that part do... was cool. When he went through and he waxed them, when he waxed them ninjas, that part, I was just like, power, baby. Power, baby. Yeah, yeah. keep keep your owner safe. And um... <laughs> probably, yeah, that's, 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 not, that's not right. But, you know. Uh... At least I'm not alone. Yeah, just where we at? Where we going? Where? Hey, hey, I, no. hey, I said the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, don't compare that. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be some black people laughing what I said. Is <laughs> um, <laughs> bro, like guys, we can't emphasize you enough not to watch this. And matter of fact, it's on a streaming service. They're like, it don't cost more to watch, and we're still like, don't watch it. That's that's the emphasis we're trying to give you guys. Like, oh, you want them to watch, watch it? it or, or watch it to know when you actually see a good story. <laughs> like, watch, watch Yasuke and watch Castlevania. <laughs> hey guys, just watch Castlevania. I don't know what Mike's talking about. Like, he wants it'll, it'll make you appreciate it. If like, because I watched Yasuke and then like when I watched season four of Castlevania, I was like, oh, see. This is this is actual storytelling with a limited number of which is so sad. The four episodes of Castlevania's first season have more story than all of Yasuke. <laughs> Mike, I want to agree with you so bad, Mike, but like that's like your metaphor sounds you like you don't hey, waste your time. Like put put it make it productive. Make it make make the bad taste make the good stuff taste better. Mike, what you said just sound like Hey, besides watching Beyond Scared Straight, go to jail. And uh, once you once you experience that, Beyond Scared Straight won't be that uh, bad. <laughs> just, just get just nah, get what's like, worse to appreciate. Nah, like like it's more like it's more like all right, you messed up and you went to jail. You did Beyond Scared Straight, then you realize class ain't that bad. Fair, but fair point. Fair it's, it's, point. It's more yes. like that. You know what I'm saying? It's more like that. It's just like class. You know what? Class is nice. Not yeah. getting yelled at by, by a 30 year old man who probably goes up in another man's butt. But yeah, class is better. Class yeah. is better. I'll just stick with class. 
Yeah, detention wasn't as bad. Uh, I go home <laughs> after detention. I can't just go home after this. So yeah. I, I ain't had no roaches in my my mashed potatoes. Like yeah, you, it's definitely a, it's definitely just a thing. Like if you do waste your time watching it, it'll help you to understand when you actually see something good. True. True. Um, the the last episode. Did you feel like that was the strongest episode? Uh, no. Uh, the flashbacks are the strongest piece of this story. Yeah. I think the only reason somebody would think the last episode's the strongest episode is because they were like, I'm finally done. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like this long journey is complete. I did it. <laughs> I think that's how I felt. I think, I think you just, I think that's it. I think I was trying to go deep and I think you just said it completely. Maybe that's how I felt by the last episode. Like, yes, this is over. Uh, this is done. I'd never have to see this again. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's pretty much it. To me, that's what it felt like. Because if you try to ask me to do the last episode, I can't. No, this like I said, it's not memorable. Like it's not like this isn't something that like will be something that we tell our friends to watch or even be like our kids. Like I have a stepson, I tell him to watch Dragon Ball Z. He he likes it. He's you know he enjoys watching it with me, but I wouldn't put him through this. Yeah. Um, and it's, I we, think it's the potential that hurts. Yeah. The potential. Yeah. I mean, plus it has the first black samurai's name in the title. And that's, that kind of just, why not name him anything else? And then we just like go with it. Like, don't make him the flop, you know? Or right, Yosuke, you got to just change the letter, change the file. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. This is, and then you drop something good and be like, no, no, this is the guy. This is what we meant. This is. <laughs> Uh, that is that is some of the stuff, man. But, and I, I, like I said, because when somebody's asked me, like when I first watched it, I thought it was entertaining, and then but I wasn't really paying attention that that much. So when like everybody was giving the bad reviews on, and somebody was like, "Is it really that bad?" I was just like, "I think it was just false advertising." Like we were we were sold a historical story, and then we was given like every genre of anime we could find tossed into one. And then when I went and rewatched it, I was just like, no, it wasn't even false advertising. This was just, this was just a lie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the one thing I will give to Netflix and the one thing they do better than a lot of other companies, Netflix will pull that plug in a heartbeat. Netflix was running full ads. Like, you got to check this out. You got to check this out. As soon as about 100 bad reviews came in, it was just like, pull everything. Stop it. Stop now. <laughs> Put it to the back of the pages. Make it hard for them to find it. It's just... Yeah. I don't know, man. And the one question I always have is, like, when people were... Like, when they were writing this, they were making it, like... Did they, did they never stop to ask the question and just like, hey, uh, Saki can now fly up, fly away, blast her opponents, walk into a shrine carrying a gigantic robot and a eight foot tall lady. You remember last episode, she couldn't control this, right? <laughs> like, does that, I just always wonder, like, where's the, where's the person that asked the question? <laughs> they probably were over there like, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Just like, look, man, we got to do what we can do, man. We already started. Yeah, <laughs> we got deadlines, okay? I, I yeah. just feel like I just feel like there should be that one person back. Just, just like, just throw in the reminder, just like, hey, you, you know, this doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> they, they put a muzzle on him, apparently. They, they, <laughs> he got, it was just a whole bunch of, oh, okay's from him. It was no, like, they didn't give him no credit. Um, like, you don't even work on this team. You just the coffee boy. Like, give me my coffee. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, I mean, that was one room that you just. Mm. Oh man. So, is there anything else you you would like to add on to the spoiler review? Um, the mom. The mom thing was dumb. Everything was dumb. That is true, but the mom thing especially because it was just like. All right, we'll make we'll show we'll show her losing her arm, so that automatically means she's dead. <laughs> like nobody tried to look for her body, <laughs> but like she didn't pop up with any of the other people. It's just like, yeah, you you saw her arm disappear. That that's come on, man. This ain't Japan. Who 
Who's going to survive Miss Skin on? Yeah, and she'll get an infection. Just believe us. Yeah. Just believe she, us. She's dead. She, she'll get an infection, and that, that'll be it. Uh, the robots can't help her, you know? <laughs> if it's a robot, somebody she get a prosthetic. <laughs> like, yeah. You gotta stay in my that first episode the trip because they're on like everything is so mellow. Everything, I mean, really, I'm just being honest up front. Like they're really going through a lot of like tropes, but it's getting you where you're like, okay, we're about to see some great stuff. And then these what four villains or six villains came out of nowhere and attacked uh, I think them. It was, I think it, yeah, it's four. It's the, yeah. the big lady, uh yeah. Florence Nightingale. Uh, yeah, these superpower dudes supposed to be. Yeah, these superpower beings and the robot came out of nowhere, attacked them, and like you said earlier, no surprise, no like why they're here, like no like what is that? Just like all right, we're fighting. Nobody, asked, nobody asked what is that? Like nobody, like I'm, I'm more mad that I was more surprised about the robot flying in the Yasuka was. <laughs> like so, the robot flying, I was like, the fuck is that? And then Yasuka was just like. Now it's time for me to fight. <laughs> <laughs> this is how good it got me, guys. I literally, not being funny, I literally rewind the episode. Like, what did I miss? <laughs> like, what what did I miss from this episode? That's and the, how did I not see that? You've been asking. That's what I did with Saki, with Saki's part. I was like, wait, hold up now. When she started, like, like swinging on the, the 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 lines and blasting the robot thing, I was like, "Did you not just shoot your friend into a tree five minutes ago?" And then, like, she was using it to sense where her uh, where the where the bear lady was. Uh, I was just like, "What?" Uh, I don't know, man. It was just, it was just whatever. I did enjoy when the Klansman died. Of course, of course, everyone. Yeah, yeah, Bishop T. Klansman when he died, I, I enjoyed that. Yes. So, uh, because I was, I was sitting there like, nah, I ain't a lot of that. Uh, that torture scene, I was just sitting there like, y'all say you, you a bad man. Oh, he probably had worse. That. I mean, they didn't shy away it from it. That. They didn't shy away from it, though. You know. But and then, it's just, you know, the Klansman came out with all the tentacles in his hands and stuff. I was just like, what is this? <laughs> Where is this coming from? Not explained. So, yeah, so. Not explained at all. Because of anime. That was all they had to say. Huh? You know what you're watching. And but yeah, I just, just what <laughs> huh? I just feel betrayed because it was like I was I was really looking forward to this, and then like since the studio that was doing it was was going to make sure it looked good, I was like, all right, cool, this should this should be pretty good. Yeah, uh, I wanted to pick your brain about the live action movie of Yasuke. Uh, if he passed away, Chadwick Boseman, the guy that plays all black people, even light skinned ones. Um, he was supposed to play Yasuke, but he died. <laughs> R.I.P. Um, Chadwick Boseman. If you could, two two or three actors, if you could cast, who would you cast to play Yasuke? Um, if you don't, if you don't know what he looks like, you can pull it up on your phone if you want. But well, uh, going off, uh, yeah, yeah, let me pull it up too to make sure because I I know what I think, but I don't want to call it wrong. Uh, like this, he definitely didn't look like Chadwick Boseman. No. Actually, you do you watch uh do you watch Snowfall? Yeah. He actually looks like the actor from there. Um, the dude who plays the main drug dealer. Yep. That like, but that's that's immediately who came up to my mind, and it seems like he was a pretty good stature. So and that dude's tall. Yeah. Yeah. So I think. Yeah, buddy from Snowfall. Um, I can't think of his name right now, but uh, definitely can't give it to Michael B. Jordan. I no, say that much. 
No, no. I don't no, even no. think he would do that well with it. Um, either him. I'm trying to think of somebody else. Because if they go off the anime, if they go off the anime model character, then I, honestly, I can see Ichizo playing it, especially for the age. Yeah, for the age, yes, definitely, definitely. But they wanted to do his actual story. I would say Buddy, who uh, who's off of Snowfall, and it's someone else, and then their name is escaping me, and, and their roles too. I don't know. As long as you don't give it to Michael B. Jordan or uh, Donald Glover, don't give it. It's, it's give oh it no, else. no, no! Do not give this to Donald Glover. I'm a Donald yeah, Glover be, fan, but like that, don't do that. Don't, don't. You would not be able to carry that. Oh, no. Kevin Hart, definitely don't give it to Kevin Hart. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Yeah, Kevin Hart and Jay Farrell. Just leave them out of the conversation. Yeah. Um, so I, but yeah, definitely Buddy from Snowfall. And Buddy from Snowfall is a really good actor, too. Yes. I just suck for acting name. Yeah, I think um, he would be a great choice. Like, I'm glad you brought him up. He'd be perfect. Another person, I mean, you're just able to play older if they want to play older him. Definitely. Um, the person I was thinking, and it's really hit and miss because he may not be serious enough, would be Jamie Foxx. Just because I think he does have the range for it. I just I don't know so how too. serious he would be in the role. I, yeah, I would want Jamie, but it just feels like since he is directly African, and this might sound messed up, but like it feels like you really need to get like, like a black ass motherfucker to do it. <laughs> yes. Like purely dark. You know what I'm saying? The guy they used to call Midnight back in high school. Like, you need to do yeah, it. I agree. The guy has a cousin named. You know, and uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, did you practice that click? That click, was, that click no, was a little bit too uh, small. No, this is it was too much stuff. Uh, nah, uh, true story. I was uh 16, I was in uh Sand Hills. Um, guys, I don't know, Sand Hills is an area that's in northeast Columbia, South Carolina. Um, we used to have a bunch of like shopping stores there, guys, but um, I was in um, oh man, they sell vans there. Uh, journeys and uh, long story short it was this African family that was shopping there too and uh, it was his family this guy's wife said uh, she was pointing at some like I think it was a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog bands and she turned to her son and she was like son come here and she looked at her husband and she said come see this and and I remember <laughs> like me and uh, the Hispanic dude, he gave me like, uh, cause I had to get some, well, you know, I always rock black vans. I got vans and Converse all day, but he hands me the, my vans so I can try them on and we hear it. And like, he looks at me and I look at him and I bust out laughing. <laughs> he can't laugh. Like he, he's, he's holding his laugh uh, in cause okay. he's working. So like long story short, uh, I I just never forgot that. And me and that dude actually became friends, man. He's, um, he's, um, He's a nurse practitioner now. Um, shout out to um, Antonio. But um, yeah, that's what. Oh, uh, now he has a name. Huh? So now no. He has a name. <laughs> You're going to make me the bad guy in the story <laughs> just because I forgot Antonio's name for a second. Okay. I forgot Antonio's name. I had to like remember. I don't talk to Antonio. Talk- Last time I told Antonio was like three years ago. All right. Don't, don't do that. Don't do me like that. <laughs> All right, I had to remember his name. He's good people, man. Do, making big moves in the world. Yeah, it's, it's nice when you meet people. The first thing that pop up your head is a sound effect. <laughs> Just... Wait, what are you talking about? Sound effect. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's why you the guy. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know what his name was. His name must have been... I'm talking about Antonio, the Hispanic guy. Uh, oh, the Hispanic guy's name was Antonio. Okay, yeah. I, messed, I messed that up completely. Oh, no, no, no. The Hispanic right. guy's name was Antonio. No, it's, I never met. So I never got like, to talk. It's nice that there was character development for one of these people. Oh, yeah, I never talked to them. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't. <laughs> I just remember that. I just remember that. I remember that so vividly because I had just got my driver's license. And that was like my first purchase when I got my first car. And uh, with well, my brother's old car. But uh, yeah, that's the only reason why I remember that story so well. Oh, um, man. That is- but yeah, that's the only reason why I can do it so well. I'm trying to like get a joke about it on stage, but it's just it's, it's 
that, it just that, got that to be the, the perfect joke. situation. Yeah, that is that the is joke. The, <laughs> is the, joke. <laughs> the best jokes come from real life stories, and that's a that's a real and life story. Random conversations. This this yeah. is this can also yeah. be like a comedy hint for anybody trying to do comedy. Just randomness is the best form of comedy. Yeah, man. True stories are the funniest, man. Um, wow. True stories are the funniest. It's true. Uh, man. <sighs> no, I'll tell the story again. We streaming anyway. So one last story. This has nothing to do with y'all's case. Spoiler review. Nothing to do at all. But uh, I, I'm a, you know, I'm a nurse. more content. True. You know, I'm a nurse assistant. So what happened today was, no, I, I'll say it on the stream. I, I, I always the stream. Is there anything else you want to say any other spoilers you want to say about Yasuke? Um, yeah, it's uh, the flashbacks are on YouTube. I watch the flashbacks on YouTube, but uh, they got to learn how to tell a story. Yeah, uh, watch the like, fight scenes on YouTube also. The fight scenes are good, especially when he goes up against the Eagle Clan. I'm telling you, man. The Iga clan fight was so boss because it, it was literally just being racist. Like, that would have been the perfect time to, to put in a nigga. That would have been the perfect time. To put I, in I'm, not, I'm not agreeing with you on that. They was just, they was going in. They was just like, you sitting in a black man. <laughs> be like, you sitting in a nigga. <laughs> and then, as you know, like, after he kills everybody, it would have been funny if, like, one of the several on that side just be like, I don't like him, but that nigga's strong. <laughs> if only Quentin Tarantino wrote this, right? <laughs> oh, man. At least if it would have had like five minutes of good dialogue. It would have been funny. If Quentin Tarantino would have wrote it, it would have been funny. It would have been so many N words in this month. But <laughs> damn, it would have been funny. <laughs> yeah, if Quentin Tarantino wrote this, it'd be nigga everywhere. <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, um, yeah, YouTube, YouTube for the flashbacks and fights. It, uh, then it's a good series. Yeah, yes. Watch the good ten minutes of it, and um, you can cut out the rest of the BS. Just like they did. Yes. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching the spoiler review, Mike. Please tell them where they can follow you. Um, I haven't really set up my social medias yet, so follow me in spirit. Hey, guys. <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching and have an amazing day.